Hey guys, Cell here now! Welcome to what might actually be the final episode of Persona 5 Strikers. Might. There might be two more. In which case, it's also the next day. Very well. I know I Let said I would go. do it last time, but I uh, underestimated how much I actually had left. <laughs> so this will be the end, because I'm just going to speed run the rest through Mardukey's Palace, seeing as how we're already level 99 and have over 3 million yen. We don't really need anything from here now. <laughs> I'm itching for action. I'm monitoring Pepu. We're here. What? Now, let us depart. Let us now go through here and see what's new. We can go now. Look, the camels are gone. Indeed. Rather fortuitous that we tried the console, we found the mementos. Now we can proceed. Let's move out. Yes. Okay, let's go, Senpai. Oh boy, I know this might be stuffed. That's not a good sign at all. Hey, man. Level green enemies all around. <laughs> I love it. Now, technically speaking, I say a speed run. Still don't know where the hell I'm going, though. I'll try not to actually battle. I can feel it. If I can help it. What's this? Page one of three, February 2nd. Tomorrow is Rumi's birthday. I'll be meeting her parents. My hands have been shaking an awful lot lately. Well, they've let her their daughter marry a low-level researcher like me. Now I'm getting even more anxious. When I told Rumi how nervous I'm getting, she just laughed and said, I think too much. She may not have understood my problem, but I do so love her, her laugh. I don't think I'll be able to sleep with my nerves like this, but I need to lie down anyway. I've been getting the worst headaches lately. I might be pushing myself too hard for this thesis. I just really want to be in top form tomorrow. I know this diary was originally just for research notes, but now I hope I can look back at it with Rumi someday and feel nostalgic. Um... What can this be? A diary? Looks like it. Judging from what's written inside, it's most likely Madaki's. But... It seems he, like he was written, uh, writing about things in the past, but it looks like they are only fragments of them. It doesn't look like it has any meaning hmm. to it either. Not sure if it'll come in handy for an investigation, but let's hold on to it and see if we can find other ones. Yep. We gotta s oh god. We gotta solve his past. And why he's actually doing what he's doing. I mean, obviously, it's probably to try to resurrect Mo Rumi, or so that no one has to suffer the way he did after losing Rumi. One of the two. Focus. No real point in me getting tentacles either, but... Why not? Oh. It'll all work out in the end. Okay. Probably. Joker! Hmm, hang on, Joker. Uh-oh. The door's security looks super strict and there isn't even an ID scanner on it. Let's take a closer peek. Joker! Fine, fine, fine. Let's actually look at it. Security locks are currently engaged. Please answer the following identity authentication question. What did Takuto Madoki lose in exchange for the power to rewrite cognitions? For real? God, talk. <clears throat> Let's not depart that matters now. What's it talking about? Doc losing something. Isn't this some kind of riddle? Mm. It's a security question like when you reset a password. Only the one person's supposed to know the answers. That's how you end up with private information being used like a key. key. You see, so we need information on Monarchy's life. Well, this is his own palace. I bet we'll find some clues to the answer if we look around and All thoroughly right, enough. Let's go. All right, so that's the plan. And let's get to clue hunting. Joker. Don't we need to look for clues first, Joker? I know what the answer is. He lost Rumi. Come on, man. Don't treat me as if I don't know the answer to it. I mean, it's kind of obvious wh what he lost. Joker, there's a chest. But fine, we'll go the way you want to. I can see it. And find the clues we need first. I don't really need this. 
Especially I don't have the locks for it. I've given up on doing it, so yeah. Come on. Of course it's a locked door. Of course it is. Because why wouldn't it be? It's supposed to be doing a speed run. How I haven't been seen yet is beyond me. How did... Um... Whatever? Sure, why not? I can feel it. Okay, this looks like there's more information here. Alright, anything else? Nope. Go in here. So what's on the other side? Some more info. Uh, do what we can unlock. What's up with this room? The entire palace has been rather bizarre, but this room is rather strange in its own way. CRT TV, huh? Talk about old school. Look, it's even got a built-in VCR. Hmm. Maybe we've got to watch some TV first? Ugh, I highly doubt that. Actually, gotta watch there's a the chance tape. he's right. There appears to be a tape by the VCR. Well, it appears we don't have any choice but to watch the tape, do we? Of course, it could possibly just be a trap. Let's watch the tape. Nothing's happening. It's making some strange noises. Could it be broken? Do you think we should try whacking it? Uh, <laughs> please don't. Oh, it's playing. Stay on guard, everyone. We're fine. This is going to show us what happened to Rumi. How are you feeling today, Rumi? Sorry, I came empty handed. I've just been so busy with the research lately. I haven't had the chance to pick up any part-time work. I know. I'll buy you flowers the next time I come. Do you remember that wildflower field we used to go to back in high school? You really loved it there, didn't you? Oh, would you prefer if I brought you some snacks instead? Which should I bring? Sweet or salty? I know you like both, so... Actually, I have some news for you today. So first, I've finished my paper. The other thing is... They caught the culprit. He's in police custody now. You don't need to worry anymore. <sighs> of course, that doesn't mean everything's over and done with. But things are going to proceed as they ought to. <sighs> my cognitive science is the study of people's hearts and how they guide people's views of the world. Everyone comprehends the world in a different way, depending on their cognition. So basically, if one could tap into a person's cognitive world, one would even be able to alter how that person views reality in every way. That's what my paper's all about. <laughs> Here I am, going way over your head with this stuff, just like always. <sighs> but anyway, I've recently met someone who thinks my research could be fruitful. If everything moves forward as planned, they may even fund my work. At that point, I'd be the first professional scientist in the world. My goal is to find a way to stop crime by putting my research into action. Many of the criminals in this world are deluded to the point of seeing everything through a distorted lens. If I could change their cognitions, it would stop them from committing crimes before they even considered them. And if I were to succeed, the things that happened to you would never happen to anyone else again. <sighs> I want to save you. No, not just you. I want to save the whole world with my cognitive science. Well, at least I know your family would appreciate it. Tak to. Rumi, oh? it's me. Are you all right? Can you talk? Tak to. Family. <sighs> my family. Dad, mom, no, 
Please, please don't go. Ah! Rumi, Rumi, it's okay. Calm down. Give them back. Give me my mom and dad. Uh. You want power. Oh? <laughs> These migraines are... Damn it. Don't worry. Someone's coming to help. I believe it was most likely a post-traumatic episode. Memories of the incident must have resurfaced due to some sort of stimuli, like certain imagery or phrasing. Phrasing? I'm so sorry, Rumi. It's all my fault. Deep down, I knew I could end all crime across the world. It still wouldn't bring your family back. What you truly need is to be set free from that horrible tragedy. But how can I do that? Must seek me. <sighs> what? What was that? Nagato, please stop this. I want to forget. Forget? I wish I could do something to... Oh. But wait. By altering a subject's cognition, by changing their heart, any related trauma is eliminated. You must seek me. So, by that logic, all that pain, Rumi's trauma and everyone else's, it can be undone. I shall echo your blasphemous fury with reality, so that we may together change the world. Now, call me forth. Yes. I'll do it. I don't care who you may be. Lend me your strength. Please, help me save Rumi's life. What's that? Rumi, are you okay? Who... Who are you? Rumi, it's me! Um, I'm really sorry, but I don't know who you are. Yep, Rumi, she forgot all her memories. What do you mean? Even those of him. I've just gone through surgery. Ever since I was born, I've been unwell. I lost my parents when I was young. So I live with my grandparents in the countryside now. When you were... young? You can't. It's me, Rumi. Don't you remember me? Um, I really am sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, I'm going to be discharged from here pretty soon, now that I've finished my last round of surgery. I can't wait to see my grandparents again, and show them how well I've recovered. This is... Were her memories actually revised? Wait. Pretty much. Was that voice really... Um... Are you alright? That's absurd. How could something like... Oh, I mean... It's nothing. I'm just glad you're doing better now. She remembers nothing of the incident. So, Furumi... By the way, what are you doing in my room? How do you know my name? Oh, well, I'm, uh... Sorry. I mistook you for someone else. Another person? Yeah. My... my girlfriend's name is Rumi, too. Really? That's so nice to hear. Yeah. Huh? Looks like I really messed up finding the right room. I really am sorry to disturb you. Um... So, I know this might sound odd, but if you'd like to meet again sometime... Thank you for the offer, but... I'm sorry. I'm going to be getting busier than ever soon, so I don't believe we'll be meeting again. Really? But what about your girlfriend? She's... passed away. That's why I won't be coming here anymore. Oh, I'm so sorry. 
Um... I hope you feel better soon. And I know the people who care about you wish the same. That was... Dr. Maruki, right? Yep. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Based on what we've seen, we can surmise that Dr. Maruki's memory was somehow on that videotape. The way that woman was acting at the end, that's just how it went for me, too. So he rewrote her cognition. Considering what he was saying in the video, that might have been the moment he first awakened to his ability. Could Dr. Maruki possibly have wanted us to watch this memory? Um, I don't think that's the case. It's possible that this is just an old memory he tried to bury in his unconscious mind. Still, if this actually occurred, there's no mistaking it for a trivial memory. This is clearly important to Maruki. Whether for good or bad, it appears that this incident is what led Dr. Maruki to his current mission. You're right. So now we've got our answer about what he lost. Even though technically I already said that. So let's unlock it. I can feel it. Let's not go into battle. So I am curious to see what we could actually do. I'm not gonna do it. Wow, they didn't see me. Security lock currently engaged. Please answer the following identity authentication question. What did Tadaku tell Maruki lose in exchange for the power to rewrite cognitions? Hmm. I know the answer after watching that video. Assume you know as well, you can do the honors. His friend, his family, his mentor, his lover. And there we go. Authentication complete. Disengaging lock. Oh, yeah! Nailed it! Now... Are we able to go through that door? Nope, we can't. I'm assuming that the other one's locked as well. Wait, what's over here? Wait, what is this? Map of the oh. place? This appears to be a floor plan of the palace. It's quite thorough, and it seems that we still have a long way to go. Huh? Monarchy Cognitive Science Laboratory. For real? This palace is a lab. Oh? You really hadn't figured that out yet. Given Monarchy's past and the palace's appearance, you've seen so far, it wasn't difficult to deduce. What the hell? Shut up! This place is just so weird that it, I didn't bother thinking about it yet. You got me, don't you, Kai? Speak for yourself. I get you. <laughs> no way. For real. Do you have a moment? A palace's appearance is based on what its ruler thinks of someone or something. In talking to Maruki's case, he must think of this stadium as a laboratory. Yeah, I get that part, but why the stadium of all places? Um. Oh, that reminds me of something I heard a while ago. Before starting construction on the stadium, there were apparently plans to build some kind of research facility. I wonder, could it have anything to do with what, with that? Hmm. It's possible, but for now, we should focus on progress in the palace rather than trying to answer questions. Man, I don't know how to feel about the fact that it's, you know, <laughs> a really long palace. I mean, from where we are right now. Lots of open space in here. Oh, look, a door on the other end. Let's check it out. Doesn't this look like some kind of research facility to you now? How suspicious. The further we progress, the more we see the palace for what it really is. Let's keep up the infiltrating. I mean, it's not like this it seems like a boss fight right here. Or a mini boss fight, if anything. Save point. I didn't know there was a safe room here. I didn't know there was a safe room here. Research ward. We don't know what may be waiting for us. Let us explore All carefully. Right. We can go in here. I have something. I don't really know if I'm gonna be missing anything. I don't really need to battle anything either. 
There's just some item there for some cash. It's fine. A chest! Talk about luck! Is that a shortcut? I assume it is. Go on. Go over there. Or you can go there. Sure, fine, whatever. And now the door is unlocked. This is how we get to some stairs. Open this since it doesn't have a lock on it. Because why not? I can see it. And up we go. If you know it'll let me and I'm not stupid. Is that enough? Joker! You gotta say Joker. The room's giving up a unique feeling compared to the others in the area. It might be like the video from we found. If you try checking that out, it could turn up some clues. Although it looks like it doesn't open from this side, so we're gonna have to go the long way around. Yes. I agree with Oracle. It may not be a direct route to the treasure, but it's definitely something. We should make that room our goal for now as we progress. Okay. So obviously nothing's over here. So, right here? Focus. I'll reveal I didn't your mean true to... Form. They got the advantage. Less skills will work here. The enemy is weak. Doesn't matter if they've got the advantage. They're level 73. Less skills Their weakness work. is also less. Like... But don't relax yet. I told them. Bye. Little workout. Plus, Violet. Didn't mean to do that, but... When you get okay. wiped down in one hit because they're all weak to the same Leave thing, the yeah, it's and let's fine. go. Um, hello. Um, I've never seen one of these. What does it do? Looks like some kind of experiment. From what I can tell, it dials the effect of colored lights. But it doesn't seem like we need to mess with it to proceed. This is... Those lit plants on the shelves are growing quite well. I wonder how this system works. I can see it. Doesn't look like we need to mess with them, but do we know? No. Alright. Like how we're level 99 and we can just walk by the enemies without them really ever seeing us. Kind of fantastic. Oh! Okay. Wait, there's a will see here. What? Ah, oh, crap, that is one thing I kind of want to get, because I've gotten every single will see so far. Of course, we got to swing our way to that will seed. Of course we do. Wait. Okay, we go through here. I have something. See nothing of use over here. No, those stairs so can only go down. Oh. oh, look, another one of these doors, Deja effing Vu. What do you want to do? Might as well check it out for now, right? Damn it. I hit X on the damn door. What, did they sneak up on you? Come on, man, hurry up. Oh, no. oh no, Panther. You're taking hostage. I need win. I can't meet your demands. <laughs> Should die oh in vain. My God. Too slow. <laughs> I forgot I could leave for one, but that's hilarious that he took her out. <laughs> oh my okay. God. 
Security lab currently engaged. Please answer the following identity authentication question. What was missing that caused the research into cognitive science to be shut down? Y yeah. yeah, I got no clue again. Guessing the answer to a question this specific is pretty tough. I don't know what we'd even guess. What if we go and check out that r room Oracle Senpai point out to us? Then we'll find the answer some kind of hint in there. Yes. Sounds good to me. Let's find a way into that room. Uh-huh. Somewhere. Back down, I guess. God dang it. Show me your true form. Whoa. Um. Huh. Hey, you guys. Show me your true form. You can do the same thing in the palace. I did not know that you could do that in the palace. Oh my god. You can do the same thing here. <laughs> You're not in a car, but I'll reveal your truth. Just run up to the enemy and you can snatch the soul away. <laughs> oh, it's a trick. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, well, I, I figured out how to do it, you know, faster to where we don't have to worry about it. And we don't have to battle. It's perfectly fine. So wait, wait, wait. Uh, how, how the hell do you get in here? I can see it. Oh, uh, wait. Obviously, it's not here. So I'm assuming that we gotta go back to where we just were. Getting chased. Cause we gotta come down the stairs to get in there. God oh, dang it. And hey, at least if I didn't come down here, I wouldn't have figured out that you could just run into the enemy. Cause the stairs are literally over here. Wish I would've saw that before I started running. But it's fine. All right, let's heal up. And now we don't have to worry. Oh man, I love seeing everyone at level 99. Jesus. Fantastic. <sighs> Another video like the one we watched before. I don't like the idea of spying on somebody's past, but we clearly don't have a choice in the matter. Then watching this is our ticket forward, then I guess well, that's what we're doing. Yep. Damn it! Just hearing it from you's pissing me off. You've come so far. What problem could they possibly have now? I tried negotiating in person with the professor and the investors, but they simply wouldn't listen. Due to the lack of concrete evidence, all further research and funding in the field of cognitive science will cease. <sighs> they told me it's already over and done with. But why now, of all times? When they first saw my paper, they were positively beaming with excitement. And the research lab in Odaiba? They're not going through with that anymore? Yep. Damn it. To hell with their concrete evidence. How are we supposed to get any evidence if we can't perform the research first? If we can change the cognition of trauma victims, their suffering can be eliminated. Who knows how many people could be saved with this research? How much more obvious could its benefits be? So, do you really think the lack of evidence is the reason they shut it all down? <sighs> it makes absolutely no sense to me. After all the time and money spent, to just cut off my research because it wasn't all proven sound immediately. Even if that was the result of some kind of conspiracy, what could I do about it? It's not like I have any proof. I see. So, what are you gonna do now? The sponsors have backed out, so I doubt the college is gonna let you keep using their labs. I'm done with that college. They have nothing for me at this point. I'll look for work elsewhere while I keep fleshing out that research paper. Eventually, I'll prove the existence of the cognitive world. Once I've done that, no one will be able to complain. Yeah, and that's where we came in. We helped him with that. Rumi, I swear I'm going to do it. I have the power now. It cost me my life with you. 
So I'm going to rescue everyone from their pain. I don't care how long it takes me. It's going to happen. So that was another of Dr. Maruki's memories? Mm -hmm. Yes, I believe so. Seemed to be a much more recent memory than the first one we saw, though. His research was cut off. So after the incident with his girlfriend, he progressed in his research to harness cognitive science as a healing practice. However, his research was shut down, and his career along with it. All he had left was his resolve to prove his research valid, then use it to save people. That seems to be the message delivered by the videos we found. It must have been his dream, to use his research to save people here. If that sounds good to you, would you prefer we just turn around and go home? That isn't an option. Yeah, what she says. If anything, we've got to pull out all the stops to win this one. Well, the vote was unanimous. And it was. So yeah, he didn't have concrete evidence and that's why he lost. So I am curious, before we do go there, what was up the other la up the other staircase? I'm detecting a badass. Joker, you okay? There's a chest! Joker, let's open it! Show me your true form! Forgot I could do that for a quick second. Okay, so now I'm assuming that this is how we get to that will seed, right? As we leave through here, and then we just wrap a hook away that through. I'll reveal your true form. Unlock this. I'll reveal uh, your true form. Thanks for the cash. I have something. <laughs> I love doing that. I didn't know I could do that in a palace. I probably would have been grinding like that a long time ago. Break through here. And then jump down. One and here's the will see. The first one. Or what I assume to at least be the first one. Or it could be the second. I think it's the first. The green will seed of... Sorrow. So was that the first one? No, that was the second one. God dang it, so I did miss one. Probably somewhere else. All I know is I'm gonna have a lot to go through in terms of trying to find the dang will seed I need before. Show me your true form. I end up sending out the calling card by leaving. Security lock engaged. Evidence. Authentication complete. Disengaging lock. Yes! Yes, it opened. Let's get get moving, Joker. Oh, come on. It's the next question going to be what's Marduk's favorite snack or something? Focus. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> These are really bad passwords, man. Really bad. What are those turrets? Somewhere. No, they're not. Hold a moment. This is quite a change in environment. Where are we now? Hospital? This is a psychological exam room. We conduct psychological tests so that we can offer patients the happiest and most ideal realities. If you are interested, please proceed down the hall and through the door to access the information panel. An exam room? Like a hospital exam room? Perhaps we're in our place. The shadows here aren't attacking us, don't they want to stop us? Strange as it may be, they do not seem to hostile to us at all. Furthermore, I admit I'm curious as to what this exam entails. So perhaps we can talk to these shadows and gather some useful information. Be good. You are the Phantom Thieves, I assume. 
Normally I capture any intruders, but this area is free to any who wish to enter. I will grant your entrance to the exam room, should you so desire. Hmm. Uh, allowing intruders to proceed, how odd. They must be awfully confident in their exam. Techniques, at any rate, such progression should work in our favor. So we should make sure we get our act straight for this. So what will it be? Depending on your reply, we'll have to respond accordingly. What kind of place is this? Where did those people go? I see. So you are curious about the facilities very well. This is the lobby for the psychological exam room, where we determine if patients are mentally sound or not. You find the flaws and potential issues in a patient's heart, and then that even they may not be aware of. Well? And what exactly comprises these examinations? Beyond that hall lies a special exam room. There, each patient answers three simple questions. Touch the information panel to begin the process. Listen to the question and choose the elevator that corresponds with your answer. Please refrain from returning to the previous level until the exam is over, though. So to see like ty ty what type of righteous person we are and whatnot. Treatment will be recommended depending on the patient's diagnosis. But this treatment, just like every other step of the process, has been designed with the patient in mind. Do not worry. If no abnormalities are found after the exam's completion, you will be presented with a small gift. For the sake of your own happiness, we ask that you answer all questions with honesty. Um... So, all we need have to do is choose the correct answer we believe to be correct. Although I'm a bit hesitant to find out what they mean by treatment. Examine presence of heart, find their pain and regret, and distort their cognition. It's just a palace version of what M Dr. Mardiki does in real life. Wait! But, if we make a mistake, does that mean we're going to change our cognitions? It's probably confined to the real world here. They probably mess with people's heads some other way. Like me if they hook you up to some machine and just bzzz. <sighs> hey, don't scare me like that. Well, whatever form this treatment it takes, I'm sure we want no part of it for, us, for ourselves. Standing here attempting to imagine it won't do us any good, though. Let's take the exam and see where we wind up. Yes, let's take it, but first let's save. Then take it. We found the exam room. Alright, it's examination time. Let's find out what these questions um, are. The receptionist told us to start with the information on panel. Oh, is that it? Yes, 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 Panther. Yes, that definitely is it. Hello, patient. Here's your first question. One day at school, you see that your good friend is being led away by a group of scary people. You want to help your friend, but if you fight them alone and lose, you could easily get hurt. If you go look for a teacher, there would be no danger to you. But if you don't succeed in time, your friend would most likely get hurt. What would you do in this situation? This seems like a Ichigo and Chad type of situation. Go after your friend, A. Go get help, B. Once you've made your decision, please take the corresponding elevator. Thank you. Huh? Huh, neither answer is wrong, though. Yeah, but this is a medical exam, not a school one. They're trying to figure out whether or not you need treatment. So maybe go with the answer that you think Dr. Mordecai would pick. Hmm. So we have to try and figure out w which one Dr. Mordecai would pick. Oh, this is going to be hard. It's hard to be sure of anything whatsoever right now. Why don't we try asking some of these other patients around here? They may only be cognitive beings, but they still have to take the exam just like we do. Maybe they can help us figure out which answer's right. I'm going with my own right, answer. Right, right! Hey, Miss Mona, besides, if you try and fail, at least you gave it a shot. Although I'm not opposed to just plowing away through the whole exam, but... We refuse their treatment regimen. Whatever it is, they're not going to take that line down. TLDR, be ready to fight if it comes down to it. I mean, I'm going, I'm going with my own answers. Uh, if anyone wants to see what they say, uh, you can look it up. Watch, uh, get here yourself. I'm going with A. Hey! We have learned enough to make an informed decision. Why don't we ask the people... Mona, I hate you right now. They say to go with your freaking instinct and choose the one you like the most. So why can't, why aren't you just gonna let me do that myself? Fine. Where would my fun? Why don't you? Okay. 
I mean, let's try asking this guy. You guys are just awfully fancy. But it doesn't look like you're here for an examination. What do you agree with? Have you chosen an answer? I don't even have to think about it. My answer is A. Go after your friend. Oh? Is there a reason you didn't even hesitate? A reason? Oh, well. Normally I wouldn't share this with someone I just met, but I was in this exact situation in the past. The difference is that time I just acted like I didn't see anything went on my way. I let my fear control me. Pretty pathetic of me, right? I've regretted it ever since. So I've decided from now on I'm going to help people in need, no matter what happens to me. Exactly. Thank you. A. I don't need anything else. <sighs> yeah, stuff like that can ha make you feel totally horrible. Even if it ends up hurting, it's still better to go with whatever choice you won't regret later. Come on board. A sounds like the right answer to me. Thanks. Well, that's the reasoning for my answer. That's all I need to hear. Okay, I'm gonna go on ahead. See ya. Hey. Mona. A is the right answer. Stop trying to make me learn stuff I don't need to. Alright, Kawe. Hey. What's up? Hey, you got a sec. Um, oh yes. How can I help you? Which answer are you picking? Did you decide yet? I, uh, choose B. This is sort of embarrassing, but I'm never on the helping side. Someone always has to help me. I just don't have the courage to confront somebody. Hmm. So you're the type to ask others for help. I mean, that ain't wrong, but don't you ever think to yourself, I want to help them. Of course I do. But even if I had the courage to step in, I might not be able to actually help. If that's the case, it is probably best if I go help from someone else. That way, success is much more likely. Yes! So it's your consideration for others that made you choose B. Well, thank you for your time. You're very welcome. Please let me choose all the answers by myself now. Now, if you'll excuse me... Well, now you know both sides of the story, but neither one's exactly wrong right. I kind of get where they're both coming from. But what matters is which one Dr. Mordecai thinks is wrong. Why don't we collect our thoughts somewhere and talk out our answers? Hey! How about that empty room over there? God dang it. The team's pleased to swim out of this next step, Joker. Well then. All right, let's figure this out. So after some investigating, I think they use this place to test patients' mental states with a questionnaire. If they find any abnormalities, they will force treatment right away. Not sure what it is, but I suspect we should avoid it. Um... So if Dr. Mordecai thinks we're fine as we are, we get to skip the treatment. Most likely. It may not be easy, but we'll have to try to think like Dr. Mordecai whenever coming up with our responses. Uh... Sorry, Joker, but I ain't any good at this kind of stuff. The question is all yours do. Well then. Okay, let's find out how to handle you the first question. What should we do, Joker? Let's view what we know. Let's pick our answer. Yep. Okay, let's come up with an answer based on what we've heard. It really does come down to how Mordecai would think about it. Risking yourself to help your friend or take the time to find dependable help. Determining which choice is incorrect is quite difficult. Aww. And either choice guarantees his friend's safety if you think about it. Neither option seems more th any more successful than the other when it comes to helping your friend. What do you mean? Do you have a moment? Your friend may end up hurt no matter which answer you choose. That isn't the b deciding factor here. The issue is that you may end up getting hurt. That's what we base our decision on. Ugh. Great joke, you've totally got this. <sighs> I guess he's done thinking it over. We should make <laughs> have enough information to make a wise decision. That's point up to you, Joker. What's up? You want to talk about something else? Let's end the discussion here. Right. All right, I guess we're done here. Watch this be wrong. I'm going with A, damn it. What do you want to do? Yes. Want to save someone no matter what it takes. While well, risking yourself for another is admirable, it could lead to getting hurt. It is not permitted in an ideal reality, but having no fear, you two can become happy. Please follow me to the counseling room, allow it to change your way of thinking so you can finally live in paradise. Eh, I figured it was wrong, but <laughs> I just wanted to choose what? it. What? Shut up, wait, does that mean? Oh, it's you lot. 
I see abnormality is detected. Such dangerous thoughts require proper treatment. Hear that? Any of you interested in proper treatment? Joker. Hell no. Time to throw down. <laughs> ah, I just wanted to go with A, man. Come on. Do whatever it takes to help someone. That's essentially what he's doing. This enemy is the best. If anything, they're weak to Makogan. Salzar. Damn it. Me. It's all you. Right. On to the next. Let's go. Go Wave down. Blade. Horse. Yes, my persona. Atomic flare. Finish it for me. Persona. So that doesn't work. One shot kill. Oh, watch that have killed me. <laughs> oh, that is suck. Augie dying. Hey, so you're weak to Augie. Good to know. You don't need any experience. Well, oh, that was close. So if we wound up in a fight after making our choice, does that mean that we were wrong? Like, we gotta ask for help. If we want to do the right thing, I don't buy that at all. I think what it means is, rather than putting ourselves in danger, it's a better idea to avoid the risk. Let's go. Well, there's no redoing this exam, so let's just switch gears and move on. I mean, uh... What do you mean there's no point in redoing the... What do you mean there's no way to redo the exam? To get a perfect score? Alright, alright, let's go with B. What do you want to do? <sighs> Ruin my fun, why don't ya? Fine, we won't get hurt. Terminal Mounties Detective Inquiry response. Please proceed to the next room. Oh, you too, huh? They were calling this an exam, but all we're doing is walking along this one path. Hmm. No bad news so far. I guess it really was the right answer. So it's better to just run from some shit than try to help. I don't buy that. <sighs> Maybe it means Mardukin believes it's best to find a way to avoid being hurt. Nice running into you here, actually. You can have this. They were patching them out to everyone in here, but I got more than I need. Stronger lift S. Thanks. It appears we've yet to finish the exam, though, if you'll excuse me. Yes! I mean, everyone, let's keep it up. Uh huh. And we made it. The second question appears to have three possible answers, though. Alright, then. Let's find out what we're dealing with this time. This is literally just a freaking psychiatric test. So there's the room to, you know, debate and whatnot. So what's the question this time? Good to see you again. Here's the second question. You have a personal dream that you really, really want to come true. You've worked so hard to achieve it, but it's just not coming to fruition. It's causing you a lot of grief, but if you were to give up now, all of your hard work is sure to be for nothing. Which do you do in this situation? A. Keep up the hard work. B. Do, B, do whatever it takes. C. Give up the for a new dream. A. Please be honest with your feelings as you consider your answer. Thank you. Hmm. We don't know enough to make a decision. We should gather information. Alright, let's go around and talk to these folks like we did last time. Okay, let's talk to you. What can I help you with? I'm curious about your answer. The people here are pretty chatty, aren't they? Not that I mind, of course. About the question, I suppose I'm going with A. Keep up the hard work. Um. Does that mean you have, have a dream already? Yes, I guess you could say so. You probably wouldn't be interested in hearing all of that, though. I'm a musician, but I'm still at the point where I can only play on this out on the street. I work a part-time job so I can afford lessons in my spare time. I'm always recording demos or practicing. Whenever I come up with something I like, I send it out for potential auditions. Despite all that, I'm just not getting anywhere. Maybe I don't really have an act for it. No! But, but, working hard towards your dream is healthy. You're right, thank you. I was just being hard on myself for a moment there. When I come home from work and lie down in my bed by myself, I just get so worried. 
when things are going badly, I start to break down and ask myself, how much longer can I do this? But all I can do is believe in my ability. I love music so much, and I have no intention of quitting. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I hope you make it big soon. And there she goes. You're welcome. See you. Oh, I can't believe I just admitted all that to complete strangers. That's the A course. The B course is this guy. Whoa, don't you guys look crazy? Are you cosplayers or something? Those look like they took forever to make. That is just so awesome. Will you drop in on my stream sometime, huh? What do you say? Wait, you're a streamer? Yeah. What the heck is this with this guy? He's so pushy. I mean, <laughs> what stream? Oh, interest, are you? Well, I'm glad you asked. All right, that's just start at the beginning, so everything makes sense. He's babbling about himself. Whoops. He had his hand to ask Joker. Yes, yes, I did. <laughs> just tell me your answer. Oh, uh, then I'll do just that. So I know it's probably not the answer for everyone, but I'm gonna choose B. Do whatever it takes. It started, I started streaming, so I could strike a Twitch. With how streaming is blown up, if this goes well for me, I'd really be swimming in it. You know what I mean? Hmm. No. So you're doing it for the money. But it hasn't been as easy as I had hoped. I posted videos every day, but my view count never went anywhere. Wait. So you wanted to be a YouTuber? Streamer? I mean, I guess you could stream and upload the VODs. I guess that would count. But then I found the mother load. There was a video someone uploaded where he just bashed on this celebrity so bad it was ruthless. Okay. His view count went through the roof. That's when I knew what I had to do to make it. And then on, I switched over to solely po posting bash videos. Lo and behold, my view count started to shoot up. Mm -hmm. uh, so he's flaming baiting, saying I'll tweet the stuff just for the attention. So, all this stuff you're going on about, basically it boils down to you talking shit about other people for money, yeah. Uh, you really nailed it there. People hate me on me night and day in the comments. They even point me out on the street now. But I'm not doing anything illegal or anything. That's better than what I could have ended up in. I walked away from my job because the stress was killing me. But then I became a real burden to my parents for a while. But if I'm a famous streamer, I can make enough to survive and pay my parents back, right? Right? Hmm. I don't know how I should feel about all this. You spread negativity. But it's not entirely for personal gain. Huh. Are you guys gaining an interest in me? Maybe we can come up with some kind of collab together. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, just go already. Alright, so you do whatever it takes. Subscribe to my channel. Okay, so are you a streamer or are you a YouTuber? Are YouTubers called streamers? No, they're called YouTubers, right? <laughs> I don't know. Did people say subscribe to my Twitch channel? Uh, actually, uh, I think I've heard that before. That's about it. Aw, oh, come on. I was going to go with whatever the other guy cho chose that we followed up here last time. Damn it. Hmm, what do you want? Which one are you choosing? Did you decide? This doesn't actually matter. I'm pretty sure it won't make a difference. Well, if I have to choose, I'm going with C. Give up for a new dream. I mean, the other ones all apply even less to me than that one. Huh? What do you mean? Don't you want to make your dream come true? Well, then hold on a sec. That's like for people who have big dreams, right? Besides, trying hard isn't actually going to solve anything. Why wear yourselves down to nothing over some dream? It'd be a lot simpler to just choose an easier dream. <laughs> yes. I personally believe that pursuing something is a wonderful thing. I suppose it depends on the person. Polly, yeah. I got tired of doing stuff like that, so I just quit. If I had a dream I actually cared about, it might be different, but I don't have anything like that. Feeling after trying your hardest hurts the worst. That's what it all boils down to, you know. Failing after trying your hardest hurts the worst. Technically, his project failed. And he was hurt a lot, because he also ended up failing to, you know, keep his girlfriend. So he's avoiding dreams that might not come true because it's easier. It's not the worst advice, but still. Why don't you guys take an elevator, then I'm gonna go ahead. 
So, I think we've had all sides of the situation. Let's reach together somewhere to discuss it. Uh-huh. I was gonna go with A, but it might actually be B doing whatever it takes. I'm not entirely sure. Shall we begin? Well then. Let's think of our answers for the second question. What should we do, Joker? Let's be what we know. Oh, it's just what you want to discuss. Dedicated woman. She's the one who chose A. Keep up the hard work. She said she's gonna keep trying until she makes yes. it. Yes. Yeah, she said she loves music so much. She's going to keep pushing herself until she succeeds. I don't want to be presumptuous, but I don't think Dr. Monarchy would deny somebody the pursuit of their dreams. Hmm. But she isn't succeeding at her dreams, at least. Not to the degree she desires. As she said herself, she does worry over it a great deal. Marta can consider that to be harming oneself. I guess that's all we can get out of that answer. What are your thoughts? Energetic guy. This is the guy who chose B. Do whatever it takes. He's setting plans to strike events by uploading intentional controversial videos on social media. Uh... I mean, he said he was doing it to help his parents. But I don't think t talking shit about others is the best way to do that. Even if he's got issues to deal with, Flame bidding for attention is just too crappy. Hmm. What do you really think Dr. Monarchy's take would be, though? It's ethically wrong, so I'm fairly certain he wouldn't approve. It doesn't just hurt others, either. Damages the psyche of the person being negative as well. Even if he claimed it's doing him good, I don't think this is the right answer. Is it something we can get out of that answer? What are your thoughts? So it's not A or B. Really, it's a dispassionate guy? Here's the guy who chose C. Give up for a new dream. In the sense, he doesn't have any particularly big aspirations. Well, technically speaking, he did change the cognition of the one guy that was in Fox's art class, and now he's into archery instead. And he's way better than that. So technically, it's probably this one. Yes. Yeah, he said he disagreed with the other two options more than that one. He said pushing oneself to succeed isn't worth it. I suppose I understand where he's coming from, but I can't agree. He said going after an easier dream is better than getting hurt by trying to succeed in failing. I guess he prefers things easy going. Hmm. Indeed. But if one lives in fear of injuries, nothing good can come to fruition. Throughout the history of art, creators face their... Yep, got it. And no vote from Fox moving on. Is that something you can't uh, that answer? What are your thoughts? Topic. What are your thoughts? Let's pick our answer. So the question is, what do you st do when you're working hard but still can't make your dream come true? Let's think from Monarchy's point of view. Um. Well, in that case, Dr. Monarchy isn't just caring, he's willing to speak up and something's not right too. When one of the higher ups at school threatened my honest status over my tournament results, Dr. Monarchy had my back the whole time. So I don't think he would be okay with using a method that would bring harm to someone else. Yes. Even now, he's trying to save everyone by giving us a reality where we're all happy. With that in mind, that would just leave us with either A, keep up the hard work, or C, give up a, and find a new dream. Well? If the last question is anything to go by, the correct answer is the one where you don't risk hurting yourself. It may help to bear that in mind. Keep pursuing the dream or give it up. Which one would hurt more? What are your thoughts? You want to talk about something else? Oh, God. Right. Which would hurt more, giving up on your dream or give, or going into a new one? Uh, I don't like the idea of giving up on your dream. But being easy going to where you don't end up hurting yourself in the end if it doesn't actually work out is kind of also in the running. I'm gonna get all these wrong on the first try. I'm gonna go with A. No, you don't get hurt. I'm gonna go with C. If it's A, then I'm gonna hate myself. What do you wanna do? It's A, isn't it? Don't give up on your dreams. I was right. No abnormality is detected in query response. Please proceed to the next room. <laughs> I guess we were right, but I'm not sure how I feel about that.
Oh, you too, huh? Who wants to get all serious about stuff in my night? It's not that we agree with you, we were just trying to avoid the wrong answer. What do you mean, wrong answer? There's no right or wrong answers here. We'll get so stressed over this. Those guys seem like they know what they're doing. Oh, wait, let me give you this before I go. Hard harder core S. I handed them out just a second ago, but I don't need it. See you around, cosplay kids. Dr. Monarchy thinks people should give up on their dreams. <laughs> More accurately, he thinks people shouldn't cause themselves pain in their pursuit of dreams. Something to that effect. This exam is likely intended to filter people who are inclined to do such a thing. At any rate, contemplating the completed questions is nothing but a waste of time. Can I get a save room, please? Oh, is this like a career choice? <laughs> One, two, three, four. Oh, man. We got five choices this time. My brain can't take the shit anymore. Can we just pick a random elevator and be done with this shit? I understand how you feel, but we can't give up before we've even tried. Come on, let's see what our question is. I'd much rather, honestly, just, you know... Not? And say we did? So these are the two ones that we did. Hey! Let's see what the next question is, Joker. Uh, fine. It's probably something about career plans. Do you want to have a family? Uh, steal money? Find a lover? Welcome back yet again. Let's move on to the third question. You've gained the power to seal people's hearts. Oh, what do you know? Thoughts, emotions, information. You can steal all of it from anyone in the world. Not only that, you can use this power without fear of ever getting caught. In this scenario, which sounds closest to what you would do? A. Steal something valuable. B. Never steal anything. C. Steal my own heart to heal. D. Steal evil hearts to fix society. D. E. Steal the one I love's heart. Please, follow the previous procedure to answer the question thank you. What? What the? This question about us? Well, obviously it's D. Let's roll. Actually, use your brain. You're not even trying. Mm. So the conditions this time are that we won't be caught and that we can only choose one use for our ability. You should bear those in mind as we consider <laughs> our answer. Assuming you have a mind in the first place. Hey. Wagon on Mona ain't cool. No, no, yeah, no. Yeah, thanks, but I don't think I was the one being insulted there. Oh boy. Let's just say that. Is stealing your lover's heart might be the right one because he technically did that. In in Rewa, her cognition. Man, you all look so tense. Did you come here to become happy too? That's about right. Good guess. I mean, everyone wants to be happy, right? I know I do. Um... Have you decided to answer yet? Well, I guess after thinking about it, I'd pick whatever would get me the most money. I know stealing isn't the best behavior, but we all need money, no matter what, yeah? I work in fashion retail. My dream's to open up my own boutique one day. And that's not something I'm going to be doing without money. I know that for sure. So but that didn't you means... choose to, you know, give up on your dream? Because you had to have done that to be coming here, right? Unless you had, uh, you were, had your mind corrected and whatnot. So you'll choose it. Hey, you steal something valuable. Mm -hmm. I'd probably do it if I was actually able and no one would find out. But I mean, that's totally impossible. It's fine to fantasize about stuff like that, you know. <sighs> so she would wish to find her dream if there was no risks involved. I suppose we should consider what Dr. Mardukey's stance on that would be. Oh, I meant to mention about your outfits. How should I phrase this? Close to the biggest part of her fa first impression. You should probably put in more consideration to yours. Wow. What a bish. <laughs> Okay, next up is you. Hello, are you all here for the exam as well? Yes. Yes, we're going around asking how others intend to answer the questions. Have you come to a decision yet? As a matter of fact, yes, I'm going to go with B. Never steal anything. 
Are you happy right now? Would you steal anything? Well, I have a wife and a daughter. We're not exactly wealthy by any definition, but we're happy as we are. If I ask for too much, I'll wind up losing something in exchange. I just wouldn't do anything that could bring harm to my family. You must care quite a bit for them. It could also just be plain old cowardice. That could explain why I still haven't gotten any promotions yet. Uh... Family's important and all. But don't you want to, like, do something big with your life? Huh. Maybe when I was little, but even then, I wouldn't have asked for much. I have my family and that's good enough for me. So, he cares for his family and doesn't want much else out of life besides them. It doesn't do anyone any harm, and on top of that, there aren't any big risks the dangers involved. Those are all the relevant factors, and this guy seems to be on the level, but it all depends what Madoki would think. Well, I'm going to get going. I hope all of you find an answer you agree on. Uh-huh. Hmm. Hmm, we got some information, but not a lot compared to the last one. There are quite a few answers, so we can only figure out some ways. Uh... We want to know the answer no matter how long we talk about it. Is there a way to see where these elevators go? No way, look, look, like this place would just let us cheat the system like hmm. that. Hang on, if they're calling it an exam room, there might be some room where actual examinations take place. Oh shit, for real? Yes. That's true, based on this room's layout, there might be a path to somewhere else, could be worth checking out. And it could be dangerous too, choosing an answer without poking around in further isn't a terrible idea either. Hey! I should pick Joker. If we got a fight, I'll mess him up for you. I mean, that's all we're getting, right? That is legitimately all we're getting. Let's do this. So I'm assuming now that means that we can come up here. Up here. Okay, so the one on the far right is wrong. <sighs> this place. Huh? Look outside the window. That's where the elevator leads, right? Well, they did call it an exam room. <laughs> they could very well be monitoring the psychological state of every patient in the room. You mean they might have been watching this, us this whole time? That's so creepy. <sighs> creepy is right. I just wish there was some way we could benefit from this. <sighs> You can't. It's called that it's not the right room. At all. I'll reveal your true form. Okay, whatever floor this is, it's not this one either. Hey. Hey look, a shadow that must me. I've always been popular with men. I never had a problem getting a boyfriend. But the person I loved the most would never look, even look at me. And one day I saw him with someone who I figured was his girlfriend. So I thought if only I could steal his heart. Okay, so this is the lover's one. I see. That must have been very difficult for you, however. The ideal reality is one where every single person is happy. Such self-centeredness has no place there. Having a skin by depriving others of their own is, in actuality, unhappiness. You too can become happy, though. Hmm. I don't think this is the right one. She answered E, sealed the one I love's heart. Happiness gained by depriving others of their own happiness is unhappiness. I have no idea what he means by that. Yeah. That obviously is not it. So, what's this one? Huh? You can listen in on some of the conversations here. I never got along with my husband. I actually hated him. But recently I've been thinking maybe it was all my fault. And now I'm still starting to hate myself more and more every day. That's why you wanted to steal your own heart. While worrying yourself no more, this treatment will instantaneously bring you your happiness. Come on, man. Damn, they're just throwing treatment at her right away. The reply was C. Steal my own heart to heal. By admitting to having a problem is practically begging for treatment in this place. Hey! 
It may not be a lot, but we did gather some information after all. Why don't we try to hash out what we think Dr. Monarchy would consider the right answer? I was well, not E, and it's not. Uh, whatever he said this one was. So, it's still nothing? <coughs> though, he did, though he did need money for his, his uh, you know, stuff and whatnot. Hey, how the hell do I get back down? Get down over here? Yep. Okay, so. This is still your own heart. That's a no. Still your lover's heart. That's a no. Still nothing. Um. Don't know what that one was. And this is A, steal money. Obviously it's not steal money, but it very well could be. Shall we begin? Okay, here's another place we can use. Yeah, this is definitely okay. gonna be two or more episodes at least. Alright, third question. We have a bunch of choices to go through, so let's be nice and methodical about it. Let's review what we know. Alright, two stories of what you like to discuss. Confident looking woman. She's the one who chose A, steal something valuable. Mm. She aspires to have her own store someday. She said if she d wouldn't get caught, she might do it so she can make her dreams come true. I can relate to her problem. It seems no one can never have enough money. With enough money, I could buy all the art supplies I need. I could even stop cultivating daikon sprouts. Ah, uh, Fox and I have some questions about how you actually survive day to day. <laughs> We'll fill you in later. So that's the gist of that person. What are your thoughts? Anyone else? Composed man. He chose B. Never steal anything. Oh. He said he doesn't want much besides his family. He said he's happy enough being with them. Well, if he's happy, does that make it a good answer to Monarchy? Uh... But there was something about how he said it. He said it was good enough, right? He may be happy, but I don't know if that alone would suffice for Dr. Monarchy. That about sums up that person. What are your thoughts? Anyone else? A uh, depressed woman. Here's one who shows C. Steal my own heart to heal. Well, well if we saw that one go, it's wrong answer. I mean, it, is it really so bad to be able to recognize your own thoughts? Not at all, but consider where we are. If you claim to be unwell and say improve, you're getting treatment. That sums up that person. What are your then. thoughts? Heartbroken woman. She told me, you sealed one that loves heart. We all saw how that one just in, ends up in treatment Indeed. time. And I believe that's the correct co reaction. I have no tolerance for people forcing their will onto others like that. Let's just take care of that person. What are your thoughts? All right. What are your thoughts? Uh, let's pick our answer. Mm. We need to think carefully about what this question really asks of us. Like Crow pointed out, what bugs me is how it asks you what what you would steal without fear of getting caught. True, the question does seem different from the previous two. Well... Even when it comes to the people who said they wouldn't do anything in safety, if they were to know for certain that they would never be caught, their morals could easily slip. But Smodek is trying to catch such selfish individuals with this exam. Yes, you're right. It's not what happens to anyone who answers E. Anyone who wishes to seal the heart of their love is deemed abnormal. We should exclude the options to steal for superficial reasons and eliminate both A and E. Also, that person who chose C, the one who said she'd steal her own heart, she looked like she was about to be treated. Yep, yep. Well, Dad, if you say something wrong with you in the exam, you're gonna get some kind of treatment. So that one's out too. It only leaves B and D. Either, either neither, n never steal anything or steal evil hearts to fix society. D, obviously. That's what I'd go to win. <sighs> If we may put Skull's brain-dead brain input to the side for now. As I said earlier, Monarchy is trying to, to find individuals exhibiting morals even in a no-risk scenario. He also wishes for people to be wholly fulfilled, not some comprised, compromised middle position. You have all the information you need, Joker. I'm sure you've already figured it out. What are your thoughts? Anything you'd like to discuss? Right. I mean, seeing as how a catchy crow is so against, you know... Stealing. Wait, hold on. Which one's this? B. 
E. C. Wait, what? Wait, wasn't there a D? Yeah, it's right here. So this is stealing the hearts of the uh, evil people. It's stealing cash. So it's this, steal nothing. I mean, that's what at least what Crow was hinting at. What do you want to do? And if it actually is stealing the hearts of people, people in society, which would put us in danger. God dang it. Call yourselves happy. Is this tr the truth, though? Are you not merely sacrificing your true selves? Not to forget your right to happiness so quickly. Allow us to provide you true freedom. The shadow will shoot. Anything could your true intentions be to harm our master? Could there be any remnants of deceit in your heart? So I shall be the one to find it. God dang it. It was actually Skull's decision. I'm kind of annoyed right now. Hm. Really, really annoyed right now. I said he was going with the Phantom Thief decision. Because if I remember correctly, he said that the Phantom Thieves are just. But again, no, that puts you in danger. He doesn't like it when people are in danger, man. Or when people put themselves in danger. One enemy remaining for so little more. So why in the hell? Is this the wrong answer? You can't do this. Hey now. Yes, that's it for me. I don't get it. I don't get it, man. This does not put you in any danger. You're not relatively fully happy, but still. So the answer was also fine, according to Dr. Mardiki. Maybe because the answer gives the impression of suppressing your desires. Hmm. Perhaps not the wish for happiness is a problem in and of itself to him. It's too bad we ended up in a fight, but at least we're finished with the questions. Let's switch gears and move on. Yes, let's go with this one. We don't need to learn anymore. Still the hearts of the evil people. Wait! I should have wait, does that mean we got it wrong? No abnormalities detected in query response. Examination complete. We have determined that your heart is whole. Please proceed to the upper level. May you enjoy a wonderful new reality free of worry and strife. What is the point though? Changing the hearts of evil people could potentially put you in danger. He didn't like the fact that we would put ourselves in danger for our friend. So why the hell is this the right one here? Congratulations on completing the exam. We received notice from the reception desk. No abnormalities in your results. It appears that your hearts are happy and fulfilled. Welcome to your new life. <laughs> I guess we passed without them finding uh, any abnormalities for the relief. But what's he mean fulfilled? He doesn't even get what that we just picked all the answers we knew they'd want to hear. Shut up, Skull. As a welcoming gift, please allow me to heal your aching bodies. Also, please accept a small token of our gratitude for your coming here. Be chain hey, thanks. Now, please make your way to paradise just beyond the game. Yes! Nice, that went rather well. Let's keep that up. Treasure sense, man, it makes no freaking sense. We chose one that could potentially get us hurt. For real? What the? They're just passing through that weird wall of. What even is that? Whoa, so sci-fi. Well, had we failed the psychological exam, they would have treated us. Since our answers were satisfactory, I suppose we were brought to this passageway instead. Let's head on in. Uh, right. Okay, just be careful. What? Abnormal brainwave pattern detected. Access denied. Please report to the counseling room for further instructions. What? Who are you calling abnormal here? You passed your stupid test and everything. But we weren't answering honestly. 
We're gonna be seen as abnormal no matter what, considering we're here to stop Monarchy and all. Wait, hold on! So that means we can't get past here no matter what. Ah, oh, damn it. Find a way past this thing, even if it kills me. I can feel it. Uh huh. That's where we go here. Now, uh, wherever the hell this is. Focus. I thought I saw something that would shock us. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's up with these guys? Well, look at those freaky machines they're wearing. I see. Well, we came here from from the exam room itself. Logically follows that this is the counseling room and those people are. That's what treatment is. It sure as hell don't look like it to me. What? Eh, don't sweat it too much. They're all cognizant beings. Just keep, let's just keep moving. Yeah, yeah. Let's just keep moving, all right. So, save point. Thank you. It's a this is the counseling room. 